What's up guys, welcome to this video. In today's video I want to quickly show you how you can fix the issue um, or how you can fix any TPM 2.0 error in Valorant. That's the topic of today's video, so just stick around if you're interested in that. But right before we start into the topic, I would really like to mention something. You guys would certainly make my day if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe to my small little channel. It would really mean the world to me, so thank you very much. But let's start right into the topic. What do we need to do in order to fix this issue? First of all, I would always suggest you to um, just update your Windows to the newest version. So just open the settings in the Windows search. And then it um, doesn't matter if you're using Windows 11 or Windows 10. Just make sure to head over to Windows Update and then to check for updates and install every new update in here. And then... Um, um, yeah, that's already it. Um, in here, uh, we can already close this. And then uh, the next thing is to open again your Windows search icon and to type in services, um, just to um, open this app that looks something like this. And then um, you should receive a list with all of your services uh, currently open or are currently running or not running on your computer. And then just select anything in there that we can um, find the task that is called VGC. Um, so just type in VGC on your keyboard and then when you found this task you can right click on it and click on properties. In your case this may be look uh, something like this so the service status is stopped and the startup type is manual. If so, first of all um, we can already see that this is, re this is related to the Riot Vanguard so it makes completely sense that we change the startup type first of all to automatic and then click on apply and then just uh, click on start to start this service again and then when it's set to running uh, or when the status is running and this startup type is set to menu uh, automatic we can already click on ok and click on close and that's already it um, the last thing you uh, need to make sure is to um, enable secure bo boot on your um, in your uh, BIOS so just uh, look for um, the main board you're using uh, and then just type in on Google or whatever to find a tutorial um, about how to change this setting uh, because it completely depends on your main board and the bias that you're using um, but shouldn't take too long um, yeah that's it really hope this helped you guys if you have got any questions regarding this topic um, just let me know in the comment section below I'm always happy to answer them as quickly as possible then we will surely find a solution but that's it thank you so much for watching I wish you a wonderful day see you in the next video bye